Hundreds of people convicted of crimes in Oregon could now get a second chance. This comes after a major ruling from the Oregon Supreme Court, which found those convicted by non-unanimous juries have the right to a new trial. Our Joelle Jones has been following this story since last year. She joins us live with what this means for the courts, those serving time perhaps unjustly, and victims who may be traumatized again. Well, Dan, right now this ruling impacts nearly 300 cases, but that number is expected to rise as it only represents those who have already filed for an appeal and can prove their verdict was the result of a non-unanimous jury decision. And while this ruling will undoubtedly place more pressure and strain on the courts, some argue that logistical nightmare is the price the state will have to pay to right this historic wrong. Yeah, it took too long. You're damn right it did. But it's so amazing to be here now. It's been over a year since we first spoke with Terrence Hayes. Since then, he tells us his sentence and criminal record were vacated. Still, he says there are hundreds like him convicted by non-unanimous jury decisions who now have hope for the first time. I know how they feel right now. I know the way that they're impacted by this decision. And I, and I recognize that their families are excited. Their children who haven't seen them in 15, 20 years are excited. This is hopeful. This comes after the Oregon Supreme Court found anyone who can prove they were convicted by a non-unanimous jury decision, even before split juries were ruled unconstitutional by the Supreme Court in 2020, can now apply for a new trial. That doesn't mean it's a free for all. It means those cases get vacated and they go back to the beginning and the district attorneys will look at all of them and make determinations about how they want to handle them, whether they want to retry them or not. Eliza Kaplan has been on the front lines of this debate and first outlined how Oregon's non-unanimous jury rule was based in discrimination. But some are worried about what the ruling will mean for the courts and victims, with the Oregon District Attorneys Association stating today many of these cases that will be forced to be retried are violent person crimes and will cause significant victim re-traumatization. ODAA also recognizes that retrying decades old cases can be challenging, if not impossible. Violent offenders are the greatest beneficiaries of evidence that only degrades over time. This is bigger than any one case. This is a great day for justice in Oregon because we are cleaning up a historical wrong. We are putting it in the past. And we are telling the entire public, all Oregonians, that our court is saying we want our system to be fair and just for everyone. Now, I think it is worth noting that everyone we spoke to today, including the ODAA, Hayes and Kaplan, all expressed concerns about what this will mean for victims, many who will be forced to testify again years after they were traumatized. So it will be interesting to see how this all plays out in the courts. But for now, we'll just have to sit back and watch. Reporting live in downtown Portland, I'm Joel Jones, Coin 6 News. And when the legislature was talking about doing what the courts have done, victim after victim pled with them, please don't do this. But now that's Court has ruled it can happen. Joel Jones, thank you.